Well, folks, we're going to stop working on Herbie. And uh, this is going to be a little bonus footage. Got a good friend that showed up with a uh, Ford Edge. It's got a wee bit of a problem, so we're going to try to figure out what it is. Put the scanner on it, read what's going on, and uh, try to determine what the problem may be. So let's see what this edge is. There we go. Now we're going to check it out, right Jeff? You bet. Put a scanner on it and check out this wonderful uh, white Ford Edge. Well, what we got here is Jeff with his laptop and he's hooking up his ELM, ELM right? Mm -hmm. uh, device up to the Forescan program because we have an engine code and a light that's on. I don't know, did you see the light yet? Oh, we Dive got it on yet. yet. We don't know if it's going to be anything difficult. It could just be that, uh, I don't know, the money light's on, so it's always going to cost money. See that engine on there? <laughs> <laughs> But we're going to find out what it is. We're going to start it. But this is a 2014 white in color. All wheel drive, right? Yeah. All, all wheel drive. And uh, do you like your Ford Edge? I love it. Been all right. Free, been trouble free. Fine Navy veteran. And what is your name it's again? Fine, it's funny. It's funny catching up to me, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your name again? Jim. Jim. Nice Navy veteran. Spent about three or four years in the Navy. I'm, of course, retired Navy at 25 years. But uh, him and I got something in common, Navy and Ford Edges. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and check this beast out and find out what the code is. And I'm betting it's something simple. Uh, the engine light wasn't flashing when you're driving, right? Okay, just a solid light. So uh, hopefully it's just something simple and uh, we can get it uh, fixed and get him on his way. But the engine is running perfectly well. Uh, he says it's not misfiring or anything else, so it might just be something simple, but we'll see. We'll see what the what the Forescan says it is once we get it started. All right, folks, we did some code. We have P0420, but uh, we wanted to check the voltage on the battery, so uh, being the fine gentleman I am, I said, let's check the battery, and then this is what I find. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we got good voltage going to the car first before we start chasing down uh, gremlins here. So we're gonna get this tightened up, cleaned up, and uh, put back on properly, and then we're gonna take her out for a run and see what we got. Well, we ran across another issue. We had a uh, ground that was uh, awfully loose. So we're gonna take that apart, clean it up, and then we're gonna tighten it back down and uh, do it. So far I checked trouble codes and uh, the, the cat code has went away. But we'll do a drive after we get all this cleaned up and then uh, go ahead and uh, do a drive to see what the cat temperatures are reading because if we do have a issue with the cat we should see different cat temperatures when we're driving for the different cats. So we're going to try to get this all cleaned up and get it nice and snug again and then uh, reread our codes like I said sometimes it's just simple stuff but you got to pay attention this is the part where uh, recording makes things interesting so we do have the bolt all nice and shiny we're going to mount it back up and then hook it back up and uh, then we're going to take it out for a drive with my foreskin and see if we have any uh, issues pop up with engine codes once we got this electrical issue figured out. I'm putting my money on electrical issue but hey it still could be a cat issue but this is a mostly highway car so I find that probably not believable. So we'll find out. Alright folks we got the great white ghost here and uh, it's working good. It was just a battery uh, issue. So we cleaned the terminals up. So, hey, sometimes you got to check the simple stuff. And in this case, it was merely battery terminals that were loose. I took it for a drive. And he even let me, you let me race it a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. He, said, he, he said, punch it. So 
we uh, we put it through its paces. Cats are working equal temps, short-term fuel trims. I got to give him commend. They're better than what I have on old Blueberry here. So he's taking fine care of that uh, edge. And uh, all I can say is uh, this edge is uh, running good. 2014 and 4Scan uh, says there's not an issue anymore. All the check engine lights are off and all the codes are gone. Just a battery issue, folks. Hey folks, Mac T, and remember, like, subscribe, join Mac T Ford Edge on YouTube. And also, Band of One's got some great music for you. And Mercy Girl, hey, she's always got some one liners. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.